Hello everybody and welcome back to the Excessive Gaming Channel and Farming Simulator 2017. This is a brand new Let's Play series, uh, series number 7, so if you could quickly drop us a like it would be much appreciated. And of course if you are new to the channel don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well. So here we are with a brand new Let's Play series, like I say series number 7. And uh, where are we? I'm sure a few of you have probably recognised this farm straight away just from the starting pos uh, position. We are here in Lawfolds in Aberdeenshire in Scotland. And uh, we're going to do a bit of farming in the Grampians. So, like I say, today is episode number one, a brand new series. What we have done is took your suggestions. We've been playing this farm for a little bit and we have got a few things set up and ready to go. We've also purchased a whole load of equipment which again was another suggestion from you guys that uh, wanted to see what we're doing. So first things first we're going to have a quick look at the map. As you can see there's quite a few fields on this map. We are uh, just here uh, in Lawfolds. The farm is called Lawfolds. We have, or what we own is fields 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33 and 34 and also a grass field 39 at the bottom. We've also got uh, some chickens just over in the slightly smaller farm. I'm not entirely sure of the name there but I'm sure we can uh, explore that together. What we've gone and done uh, throughout the uh, sort of uh, setting up process is we've got 26, 27, 31, 32, 33, 34 all planted up with various crops that we need and what we're going to be doing is running this as a pig farm as pigs are all set up here already. So what's, let's have a little look around at what we've got. So yeah this is the main sort of entrance to the farm got a few fields just over there, we've, as you can see we've planted crops up, they are now ready to harvest. We have got the seasons running, seasons mod is running, we are in early autumn, so rather than starting in spring, like I say we have started in autumn. You see that we've got uh, a Kotec bell fork just there, we've got a, uh, a corn header unit for our harvester there, which we can come across in just a moment nothing in there apart from a few potato boxes but uh, we can worry about that moving across to our garage you will notice that we have yeah, the transit van this is the Ford Transit uh, better known as the uh, Lizard Rumbler van but uh, we can use that for bits and pieces that's our house just there but heading into uh, the actual main farm where we store in all of our equipment as you can see we've got a fair few bits and pieces we've got a uh, cultivator there that is the uh, Vogel the Vogel Newt and just to the left here we've got the Hurleyman this is the uh, XM uh, yeah XMT4I that one is we've got a front weight on the front 700 kilo weight and we've got the uh, breedle spreader on the back the fertilizer spreader on the back as you can see we've got various pallets already in for storage of products the seeds behind us there we've got fertilizer here which we've been using some that was full when we started we've got the uh, Tatra uh, truck with the IT runner attachments on this is the bell attachment that you can put on. Uh, yeah, the Tatra Terrano ITR. So we've got that there. We've got the uh, Fent 300 Vario. I think it's the uh, 340, is that? No, the 310. 310 Vario with the various sprayer bits and pieces on, the Amazon sprayer. And just inside here, we've got again a few pallets of. Uh, fertilizer a bit of a workshop area so let's turn around without uh, crashing into everything 
again as you can see we've got another field planted up just there we do have the rese uh, reseed fill points there as well headed on round the horse uh, cedar here is on higher at the moment because we was just planting a few things up so that needs going back at some point so we will get that done turning around yeah we've got some nice equipment in here first up we've got the Bergman loading wagon we've got the uh, uh, Coon wind rower that's the uh, yeah the GA 9531 and as you can see we've got the big Roper Tiger 6 harvester this is the sugar beet harvester it's the Tiger 6 XL, it's part of the uh, Roper DLC, we've purchased that to get uh, that working we've also got the header for it and the specialised header trailer and we've also got a uh, plough in there as well, it's, I believe it's the Amazon k -Ron, if I'm not mistaken so yeah, we can see all that in action. Heading round, we have got a uh, metal tech trailer. Is that or a farm tech? It's the farm tech trailer we've got there. We've also got the uh, yeah, mine's gone completely blank. The tedder, yeah, can't for life me think which one it is now. It says Vicon on there. I'm sure you guys can help me out. Put in the comment section who makes it before we check out later on. We've got the uh, New Holland Roll Belt 150 uh, baler, and we've got a front mower, it's the uh, Pottinger, I believe. Yeah, I'll just walk across it. There we go. So we've got that one as well. Again, as you can see, we've got plenty of fields planted up. Turning around to the left here. Again, it's quite a large farm. In the shed here, we've got the uh, Geraint uh, slurry spreader, which again is rather handy. And just to the left here, we've got the tip point where we can store all of our grains. So we'll, what we'll do is quickly look at uh, the prices board, and you can see all the grains at the top. We have been doing a little bit of harvesting, not much. We've got 32,000 litres of wheat, six, uh, sorry, 11,000 uh, litres of barley, 10,000 of canola, 12,000 of sunflowers, 10,000 of soybeans, 11,000 of uh, corn, and I think that is it that's in storage. Again, there's plenty there. So, that is pretty much around the main farm. As you can see, we've got fields galore planted up. Like I say, pretty much most of the fields are done. We have left some to obviously get uh, uh, started. Moving down, we have already got ourselves pigs. We have 50 pigs in the farm already. We will be going to uh, expand in the farm out very quickly. But as you can see, there's no straw in at the moment, neither so we need to get that done but uh, yeah 50 pigs we are going to be purchasing a lot more and we're going to have a really big pig farm and we're actually going to buy uh, sorry be selling pigs on a regular basis that is what we are aiming to do we've got the uh, Manitou uh, telehandler with uh, bucket on the front uh, the Magsu bucket that, uh, obviously for cleaning up. The MAN TDS truck and the uh, cramp, uh, cramp uh, trailer is on higher at the moment. I'll explain a bit more about that later on. And of course we've got the uh, JCB 3000 fast track I believe it is. Yeah, got the fast track there. We've also got the Joskin water trailer, the Aquatrans XL for the pigs are we missing a bar here I'm sure there was a bar there before so it disappeared okay but uh, yeah we will come back to all that as well we've got a field of uh, sugar beet just there 
and on the left here we again have another field of sugar beet again it's all fully grown and we've got this uh, storage shed here which we're going to put uh, some of the sugar beet in so it is under cover so that is pretty much what we start with we've also got a harvester you're probably wondering where it is um, and we've also got another tractor that we are currently using we've been like I say it is early autumn it's been doing a bit of harvesting to get the farm up and running obviously you guys wanted to uh, get this uh, hit these series with the actual uh, running of a farm so uh, we can make a good bit of progress but running up you could probably see some of the equipment already and as you can see the fields are all planted up as well but uh, yeah we've got the header trailer for our harvester we've got the uh, Verdestad uh, rapid uh, cedar this also does the cultivating remember and we've got the uh, Sami or same fortis whatever you would like to pronounce it as some call it Sami, some say same S-A-M-E uh, it's a smaller tractor but it's been quite a nice one that we've been using as you can see we've got straw bales ready to go we've also got the uh, Challenger LB44B that is the baler, a square baler from Challenger and that is connected to the Quadro Pack V it's a four baler uh, sorry, a four stack baler, the way it does it will put the four in a stack making it easier to pick up as you can see that's been picking up the straw we've obviously stopped that there at the moment because the harvester itself was full at the time when we last left off but uh, yeah we've got the uh, Massey Ferguson 7347S Activia that's the harvester obviously he was in mid harvest and we've got the JCB fast track this is the bigger 8310 and on the back we've got the uh, Agroliner trailer which is uh, currently got wheat in I believe so that's everything we've got uh, up and running. This took uh, well about 12 minutes to get round the farm about what we're actually got uh, equipment-wise. But let's crack on. We're going to get uh, finish off the harvesting. Uh, let's get that put away. Get the harvester turned on. And like I said, we are baling this field. We'll get that onto a worker jump out and let them uh, crack on they are of course harvesting the wheat and putting the leftover straw on the ground we're going to jump into the uh, sorry what did we say the 8310 yep the 8310 and we're going to get that cover open as you see we've got nearly 18,000 litres in there so we'll quickly excuse me we'll quickly offload uh, a load of grain before we go putting this in storage we're at 90% uh, full already don't think they've got too much in the harvester to take out so yeah they are empty we're going to go and take this off the storage get it put into the uh, silos ready for the best price you will notice as we come up to the farm here there's quite a bit of lag as you can see the uh, tractor jump in there look the frame rate really drops down why it drops so much I can only guess that it's because there is so much uh, pallets sitting on shelving etc around the farm that's the only thing I can think as to why it's lagging so much so you'll have to uh, bear with that unfortunately but we'll put in those 20,000 litres 
of uh, wheat into the silos there and we'll head back to the uh, field yeah like I say it's such lag that we get just there which is uh, a bit pointing but uh, unfortunately we're going to have to live with it but yeah as we come back to the field like I say this is field number 26 it's quite a, a squarish type field not particularly uh, awkward for the workers but uh, yeah I'll we'll just drop that trailer there for time being we'll connect back up to the baler as well and lower that down turn that on and we'll carry on with the baling as you can see as it's spitting the bales out it's putting it into the straight into the quadro pack. Which of course is then stacking it up into blocks of four, making it easier for us to uh, collect the bells up. Saves us a bit of time. So, like I say, t uh, today, episode number one of a brand new series, series number seven. Miss a row there, make it easier to turn around. Yeah, series number seven. We've listened to. Uh, in fact, we can just drop those off now. There we go. Close it back up. Yeah, we've listened to uh, what you would like from the series. A real purpose to the series. What we've got is nine hundred thousand pounds at the moment. But like I say, we have got. Uh, a few bits of kit on hire etc but uh, we will get those returned as soon as but yeah we've listened to what you said and we've uh, set ourselves uh, like the target or the mission of breeding pigs enough pigs to uh, be able to sell pigs at the right time when the price is high which of course is going to mean us purchasing a few bits of kit but we wanted to get the majority of the kit uh, in place ready there we go, we've got another four in there, we'll drop those off drop that there. close that back up, carry on yeah so this series is going to have quite a purpose, the idea is to get as many pigs as you can so that we can breed them regularly and sell them regularly of course uh, what we wanted to do was look at the uh, animal menu just to show you yeah 50 pigs in the health is only at 36 percent because of the lack of straw once we get that straw in there the health will increase and of course that will increase the uh, production time the reproduction so uh, the time it takes for a pig to be born and then uh, like I say what we will do is start selling the pigs on a regular basis obviously we want to build up a good stock of uh, animals first the pigs first of course what they are going to also be doing is producing manure and the slurry, the liquid manure. As you can see, we are now full once again. We'll drop some more off, and the little message up in the top right corner. Helper A is nearly full of grain. We need to course, keep an eye on him. Try and turn. There we go, we've got enough around. So he is going to stop halfway up that row, I believe. Don't think he'll make the end. We have, of course, been uh, fully fertilising this field, or all the fields that we've planted. And there we go, so he's stopped there. So, what we're going to do, just drop the baler there. We are of course going to try and keep this uh, relatively realistic 
this seal. As realistic as possible. So like we've said previously, it's best to back in here and that way you're not damaging as much of the crop. Hopefully we're damaging some of it because to uh, drive onto it. But uh, get enough of the uh, grain out which will allow us to of course uh, carry on what we are going to try and do is aim for about 30 to 35 minutes for each episode if of course uh, we're slightly over that then uh, not to worry but we don't want to be under 30 minutes at least otherwise uh, the episodes are too short once again that's uh, comments from you guys and your feedback what you prefer to see of course so like I say we've got uh, a relatively good series plan. we've got a purpose sort of all the equipment what you guys have suggested and various other bits and pieces that I think we would need. If of course you disagree with anything that we've currently got, let us know in the comment section down below. And we of course can uh, uh, as of when we uh, have the money bill. Like I say we've got but uh, hopefully we can of course soon be building but uh, yeah let us know uh, what sort of jobs you'd like doing on this farm as we're doing at the moment it's just waiting for the harvester to come back we can then offload him at the uh, very end but uh, yeah, it should be a very interesting series, hopefully. Like I say, we've got quite a large of areas. Some of the fields are a good size as well. I think uh, it's a pity we can't actually point out what we've got. But directly in front of us, you can see the, uh, f uh, the field between the three clumps of trees. We own all of uh, that field there. Just beyond that, you've got the sugarcane, not the sugarcane, the uh, sugar beet field. So I'll drive along with the harvester here. Finish uh, unloading him. So yeah, it's quite a good, some good sized fields. There's a couple of relatively small fields, but we've got. fields harvested what we've actually got in at the moment and then we need to be looking at uh, prepping up for winter which is another reason why we are doing all the uh, straw bales to make sure we've got plenty of bales to last us and like I say today is a fresh start if you like the important bit just to get uh, running so we'll get uh, that turned back on of course we didn't uh, do the pickup and that we literally just turn it off or disconnected rather which of course turns everything off oh dear. we are not uh, collecting bowels up here, look what we've done. We've uh, messed up there, we didn't close the gate up. Close that gate up, there we go, that's now collecting that one. So can I raise that up, there we go. That should then push in the next one. 
There we go. So we've only got a stack of two there because we messed up and didn't uh, close the back gate up. Or of course we've pressed the wrong button at some point. But not to worry, we've got it sorted now. So yeah, like I say, hopefully you should enjoy this series. We should be reasonably uh, well off. There's four bows in there. We'll drop those off there. Do that. Definitely close this time. Of course, we can carry on with the bailing. So like we say, episode number one, a fresh start, a brand new series. Hopefully you do it. If you disagree with anything or something could be changed or... Yeah, let us know in the comment section and we will try and change it for you. Any suggestions of equipment or jobs throughout the series, let us know again in the comment section. And if, of course, you could drop us a like on each video, it would be much appreciated. Not forgetting to hit that subscribe button as well, of course. Off those, do it whilst we're moving. There we go. So, what we need to do is get that trailer before the end of the row, or before the harvester gets the end of that row. What I'm going to have to do I think is drop this about halfway. So yeah, we'll quickly drop that there. Pick up the uh, Agriliner trailer a bit quick. Turn around. Hopefully we can get him fully unloaded before the end. I think the uh, unload rate on this half does spit it out really quickly. If I recall the uh, We've got 20,000 litres of wheat in there. Put that cover back on. Like I say, we'll head into her farm and offload this once again. But yeah, like I say, this is Law Folds in. There. So apologies for that. Yeah, we uh, of course put the vote out there of which map to play next and the voting came in as law folds but uh, we will be doing a bit of a map tour we of course just need to get some harvesting done the job that's going to need doing uh, and completing today we're obviously not going to do the whole harvest today as you can tell it is quite a big field I wonder if we leave this trailer automatically unload for us Sure, exactly where it would be. We'll leave it there and see if it automatically unloads. It won't be there, I don't think, but uh, we'll leave it there anyway. 
pick up the uh, Challenger baler once again. And uh, turn the baler on. Today, of course, like we say, is Monday. It's uh, a brand new series. We got, was hoping to get our Minecraft Monday video out, but unfortunately, due to a few other problems, that, uh, probably end up probably end up out tomorrow, but uh, not to worry. Instead of a Minecraft Monday, it'll be on Minecraft Tuesday, but uh, never mind. Get done as much as we can. We want to, as I said, keep these videos between. 30 and 35 thereabouts and we have gone over the 30 minutes obviously with a bit of editing out etc anything that needs changing we shall uh, be within target so I think that is going to be it for today's episode oh we've Close that back up a bit quick. There we go. So yeah, he's going to be it for today's episode. We're just going to see if he uh, does. So yeah, if you have enjoyed today's episode and the brand new farm, then uh, remember to drop us a like. He's put his auger out. go we got it perfect positioning so let's uh, let's turn that off for a moment disconnect that yeah like we say that's going to be it for today subscribe button if you are new of course if of course you could share this video with family and friends thanks very much for watching and bye for now